again a solitary plus taught us how to manage the failure yeah uh if you look back uh, in 69 after almost 10 years of our we made a one meter class rockets uh, uh, all the four stages then the control system for that the navigation system everything was stored on the ground and the clearance was good it was assembled and put on the launch pad and uh, it was uh, it's a mammoth effort it uh, about three months we took to assemble and launch the rocket it was supposed to take the space craft to 400 kilometers but then what happened uh, halfway through it somehow salted and fell into the bay of aqua yeah it's really hard breaking bombing for us yes, yes. you know it's a 10 years effort of thousands of people uh, going down the sea uh, dr kalam was a pilot at the i was also post here so said that uh, then the cross bow was there you know one thing uh, there was a press meet of course it is not publicized like today yeah. but all the press people were there at the sharing of he went to the stage and said uh, yes we have not succeeded in orbit in this airplane there was a problem and then he explained the technical details then one person asked uh, who is responsible for it folks uh, around said i am responsible for it he wanted the entire failure you know and he did the point of finger at kala kala or neither me yeah so that is the spirit of isro yes. and in fact the contrast to this the next launch came in uh, uh, 70s you know within a year we took it as a challenge we solved the problem the problem fixed it conducted a large number of tests and then went to the launch pad uh-huh. it was a perfect flight uh-huh. at the end of that uh, professor davan did not go to the stage yeah. he put kalab there <laughs> is it this is the man who has done the job so entire credit he has given him and then uh, he was asked to go to prime minister uh, mr gandhi at the time you know and then explained to him and uh, you will be surprised to know that kalam did not have a proper shoes with him at the time <laughs> so then in the evening we reached chennai and make a shop open you know to get and get the shoes <laughs> a new pair of shoes and this thing send you delhi <laughs> of course he got the partnership at the time time uh, it is uh, i mean this is a great recognition of those days now and then that just set in a je- wave of jealousy and that big of course that's a uh, indian culture is like that yes but he was never uh, he gave the entire credit to the tk that i don't know on up in things is the team who was done the job yes so yeah. so the, the, you know uh, what i was uh, trying to say is a failure is a better teacher than a success yes. Yes. you learn from that uh, and correct those things and see that such mistakes never take place correct. again you know a part of that uh, one i said about the review system yeah. other is a quality culture uh-huh. see here everything is a single shot item you press the button after that next to 400 seconds you can do nothing but watch the screen screen yes. so everything has to work yeah. even a small component which fails entire mission is lost the uh, the first flight which failed it is for a very very silly reason what was it uh, it is actually you know the second stage had a, a control system which uses liquid fuels okay so on the launch pad you operate the system and then uh, to make sure it uh, works yeah it was operated and then left uh later we came to know that that uh, valve did not close properly oh. though it was commanded electrically to close it didn't close okay there was some debris which was uh, stopping that from doing that okay. a small, small particle part metal particle part. which has caught between the valve yeah. so then on words you know we started worrying about how to use screen glass how to improve the clean glass how to what type of filters you used and so on Uh, is a silly error which has caused a failure Fault but problem. still is a failure yes yes so we want we have ensured a quality system Systems. you make something a second person checks it on the spot then there is a quality audit which is done at a individual team ah. so like that three layers of screening of the quality takes place so na- no lapse will come uh, happen on that ah. so that again is a learn uh, lesson from the sri yes, 3 
So the, the, that era, the 70s, where really where we have wetted our hands on real technology. On one side, let's say. You know, the scientist's requirement was to have a uh, hundred kilogram at least to be okay. in So instead of developing a new system, we thought we will make use of the modules of the SME3 itself and then make a new launcher. Okay. Uh, that is what is called a augmented, augmented. Uh, satellite launcher, the SME. But at the same time, we were uh, on the drawing board as well as de for developing a 600 kg IRS uh, capacity launch vehicle. Okay. For that, a uh, host of new technologies are okay. Okay. Uh, like, you know, closed loop cadence or so the gyro systems, yeah. computers, and so on. So, all those things we club together in the ASLE program. It's just not only the putting together rockets, but a new technology which is required for future also has to be tested. tested. So, that development uh, was uh, initiated in the 80s, and we are going fairly strong on that. But at the same time, as you observe, we had a checkered history in that. First two launches, uh, they failed. And uh, third and fourth was a complete success. Okay. Uh, we learned a lot of things out of this flight. See, earlier SLU-3 flight, uh, the failure was due to a very elementary reason, which is uh, uh, caused that wall to get stuck. Okay. But here it is not like that. See, when you have the rocket flight through the atmosphere, a lot of dynamic disturbance takes place. Uh, you know, first of all, the pressure, external pressure increases several fold. Then second, the wind forces act on it. So, and also the vehicle being a long structure, it can bend, like, you know, the coconut tree swaying in the sea. So, that type of things we are not considered in our design. So, when the flight went through that regime, the loads were so heavy, the vehicle broke up in one case. Yeah. In another case, what happened, uh, the upper stage was to be initiated. Mm -hmm. So there again, uh, you know, the uh, ignition system. Okay. Uh, there we wanted to introduce a new safe arm device and things like that. Okay. So perhaps that has misbehaved. And, uh, okay. So uh, though, uh, this was failures of complex nature, yeah. Yeah. which has taught it much more about the rocket technology. How it behaves in flight, especially in that personal region, about the re-entry, about the shock waves which occurs there, etc. Again, the closed loop gate is a very unique way of taking the vehicle to the desired path and making sure the satellite reaches the right altitude and right orbit. Okay. Yes, so literally when we launch, Apogee could be plus minus 200 kilometers. Uh -huh. Now, PSLV is getting launched with plus minus 2 kilometers. Uh -huh. So that is all because of the closed loop guidance system. Okay. So for that is not only the sensors, sensors of very high, actually aircraft, they use such navigation system. It is one order better than those navigation systems required. Yeah. So it is uh, once it is, uh, all it got developed during the ASME. Yeah. It has benefited the PSLV program. program. When it wanted to have the closed loop guidance, we did have to look anywhere else. Yeah. So, the same system which was developed here was used there. Uh -huh. Again, the, the structural modification, etc., which is required for PSA, a bit course correction, uh -huh. had to be done because of the failure of the sense of the ASLB. Yes, so, so, ASLB, it was a technology proving ground. And uh, naturally, when you do something new, the failures uh, will definitely will be there. And more failures will be there. Yeah. So, we faced that. Uh, but uh, later, after correcting, the uh, next two launches went perfect. 